Come drink with me tonight Let's go to far off places And search for treasures bright Come drink with me tonight Let's build a giant airship And sail into the sky Let's watch the ground so far below Let's watch the birds as they fly by Fly so high Come dream with me tonight Dum da dum da dum Yo! What do you suppose it is, Teddy? Hmm, it looks like a giant flower. Let's go see. Um, uh, uh, I think I'll stay here and, uh, uh, guard things. <laughs> it worked. Now, if my calculations are correct, this red button should reverse the process. <laughs> you can come out now, Grubby. It was just one of Gimmick's experiments. Uh, oh, um, I knew that. I, I, yes, it's a portable version of my reducing machine. <laughs> and it also uses one of the crystals we found in the, the, uh, the hard-to-find city. I can't wait to get there and find out more about the crystals. Well, let's get the airship loaded and be on our way. Okie dokie. Finally sent your allowance, Chick. Yippee! At last! Hand it over! Now, where's my check? It has to be here somewhere! Ha <laughs> ha! There it is! How much is a check for, Tweez? It's. it's not a check! It's an ad for Marvel! What's Marvel? It's the Monsters and Villains Organization! Only the worst bad guys get to join. Well, I've always dreamed of doing something rotten enough to get in. But you're not very good at being bad, is you? I am so! Now be quiet while I read this letter from Mummy. My worthless son. You are a disgrace to the entire family. Enclosed is a recent Marvel ad. Until you become a Marvo member, I am cutting off your allowance. Do something really bad, or you'll never get another cent from me. Signed, your ashamed mother. Oh, no! How could she do this to me? Now we'll never get paid. Wait a second! The ad says that Marvo is having a special membership deal. One week only. Fairly nasty deeds accepted. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I just have to do something fairly nasty to gimmick. <laughs> Yikes! They'll be! They're gonna do something with that flying boat again! So? Now, I want you to go down there and get rid of Gimmick and his friends. Uh, how, Tweez? I don't care how. Just do it. Why is it always me that has to do the dirty work? There's a wind coming up, if my calculations are uh, uh, correct. We'd better heave to and get the rest of the supplies on uh, board. Huh. What's this? 
I wonder what happens when I push this button here. I made him disappear! <laughs> what? Yeah, he did it! They're gone! Yippee! What happened? Everything got so big. Or maybe we got smaller. Jib the mizzen and batten the starboard. Whoa! Hang on to your socks, everyone. I can't control the propeller. Here, let me help. Oh, oh, it's no good. The wind is too strong. This is a most unexpected development. Oh, my goodness. We're out of air control. Are you all right? Did you see what I think I saw? Yes, I think so. Are you all right? Yeah, oh yeah. Hey, why don't you watch where you're flying? Yeah, you didn't have to crash our party. We would have invited you. I a party? What party? It's our annual spring dance. I was planning to be on time this year, but now I'm afraid I'm going to be late again. We're terribly sorry. Say! I don't believe I've ever seen a creature like you before. And what's that? That's a Newton gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen plenty of bugs that look like you. How did you ever get mixed up with these weird-looking guys? They're my friends. Maybe you could help us find our way back to Gimmick's house. That sounds like a job for the butterflies. Yeah, they should be fluttering by any minute now. Why not join the party while you're waiting? Wow, it looks as though everyone in the whole forest is here. Indeed. I've never seen so many different species of uh, 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 bugs. We've never been to a spring dance before, Grubby. Isn't this exciting? I guess so, but I'm not a very good dancer. Yow! Teddy, I really think we should go back to the airship. Oh! There's a crowd of people filling up this great big room And it's getting very hard to breathe It's so crowded everyone is stepping on my feet And I think I'm gonna have to leave Then I get a glimpse of you out of the corner of my eye And the room gets very quiet and I breathe a sort of sigh And as I'm looking right at you I see you looking back at me. Hello. What's your name? Uh, uh oh, my name, um, uh, oh, uh, I'm not sure. What's yours? Karen. Oh, yeah, uh, that's my name, too. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, it's some, um, uh, uh, grubby. <laughs> How do you do, Grubby? Would you like to dance? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, no. Well, thank you, but I'm not too good at dancing. You see, I have eight left feet. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you only have four left feet. But that's all right. Come on, give it a try. Uh, okay, Karen. Excuse me. Make way, please. Come on through. Thank you. Thank you. Make way! Oh, you're a wonderful dancer, Grubby. And 
very much a general, too. Do you think so? Uh, I mean, why, thank you. What? Whoa! 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 Some kind of magic powder, maybe. Ugh. <laughs> What's this? Hmm. I don't know what these are, but wait till the boss sees them. <laughs> Now that I think of it, maybe there were something. In which case, I better keep one. Oh, what took you so long? And what's that in your mouth? Something from Gimmick's house? Ha! Ah, give it to me. What's the magic word, Twee? Mine. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> My plan has worked perfectly. What? Your plan? It was me that made Gimmick and his friends disappear, twits. And I'm the one who found those... those... whatever they are. They're diamonds, LB. The biggest diamonds I've ever seen. <laughs> and for your information, it was my plan to send you to Gimmick's house in the first place. Now quit stalling and get the wagon ready. Where are we going, Tweed? To Mummy's! <laughs> or, um, to my mother's house. Oh, she'll be so proud of me when she sees these! <laughs> now get packing, LB! <laughs> rack em, rack em, oh, most glorious <laughs> day! <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> oh, Grubby. I'm so glad you and your friends decided to drop in on our dance. Yeah, and to think I didn't want to stay. Oh, you sure are pretty, Karen. <laughs> You've been saying that for the last two days. I can't help it. It's true. Oh, Grubby. Teddy, Gimmick, wake up. Something's happened to Karen. What is it? I don't know. Come and see. Hurry, fellas! Karen, please, what's happening? Why are you doing that? I don't know, Grubby. I only know I have to. Don't worry, I'll be all right. But, but Karen, will I ever see you again? I hope so, Grubby. I hope so. Goodbye. Karen? Come back to the airship with us, Grubby. There's nothing more we can do right now. Thanks, Teddy. But I think I'd rather stay here with Karen. All right, Grubby. See you later. I'm sure there's no call for alarm, Teddy. There must be a, 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 well, a, a scientific explanation for this. I hope so, Gimmick. I hope so. Hmm. Grubby's been sitting next to Karen's shell for days, Gimmick. Well, it's not surprising, really. What do you mean? Well, she is, after all, a, a beautiful bug. Now, how big do you think Karen would be if we were our uh, normal size? Oh, uh, about an inch. Precisely. And looking at her now, or before, or, uh, well, whatever, 
What sort of a creature would you say she is, or was, or, well... Uh, well, let me see. She's kind of long and fuzzy, like a caterpillar. A, a caterpillar? Indeed! And caterpillars make cocoons and turn into... Why, butterflies, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we've got to go tell Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpy, we've got something very important to tell you about Karen. I think I know already. Wow! Heavens to Grundo! Isn't she beautiful? You can say that again. Isn't she... Gimmick, look! The butterflies are coming! Why... Actually, Teddy, I think they were here all along, as caterpillars. That is, in their, uh, uh, well, uh, pre-butterfly form. Whoa! I guess I need a little practice still. Thank you, Grubby. Did you know you were gonna turn into a butterfly? No, I didn't. But now that I am, I can help you find your way home again. Gee, I guess I do have to go home sooner or later. Some of the other butterflies have been to your valley before, Gimmick. They'll guide us there. That's fine, Karen. Okay, fellas, let's prepare the, uh, 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 the airship for takeoff. Aye, aye, Gimmick. Fuel up the furnace. Full speed on the propeller. It really does fly. So long. Bye. 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 Everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Modern fine. Amazing. There's your house. Why, yes, it is. <laughs> it sure is good to be home again. Yes, but we still have one uh, small problem. What is it, Gimmick? We're still small, you see. That's the problem. But perhaps Karen could be of some help. What can I do, Gimmick? Well, you could just fly over to that uh, uh, portable reducing machine there and press the green button. You mean this one? Yes, yes, precisely. All right, here goes. I'd forgotten how small you are compared to us. Come on, Karen. We've got to be going now. Do you have to go? I guess I do. Well, I suppose this is goodbye then. I'll never forget you, Karen. Not as long as I live. And I'll never forget you either, Grubby. Never, ever. I promise. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Grubby. I'll miss you. Oh, shucks. Love sure is flighty. Oh, no. Heavens to Grundo, my living room. Somebody's been here, and I think they were looking for something. But what could that be? The, the crystals! They're gone. Somebody has taken them. But who could have done such a thing? Tweed. <laughs> you 
in our next story, we're off on a chase to get back the crystals that Tweeg stole from us. You'll meet Tweeg's mother, Queller, the Supreme Oppressor, and a lot of other monsters and villains. So please join us as our next adventure takes us right into the very heart of Monster Headquarters, right here on the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs>